Yeah. Oh yeah. Especially for these characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In particular. Yeah. It's dark. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to live in the darkness, you know? Like we try to have fun and it's nice when we're together and it's nice when we're, uh, we're teamed up with the rest of the cast as well, but, you know, it's intense. Yeah, yeah. it's hard to be in the dark. But I, I like, yeah, yeah, but I also think that's what makes it, I mean, because if you, if you look at Lev's writing, it's, it has this really sort of, um, this sort of dark brow um, quality to it that I think uh, is needed because it's, it's you Without the dark, you can't really see the light in so many circumstances. And so, for me, it's really fun to have characters that are continuously have things at stake because then it makes it it heightens the situation and it um, it makes it fun <laughs> for me. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> Just when you think it can't get any darker, it does. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. So Julia went through a really traumatic experience. And, you know, she was able to find a light in the tunnel with, you know, Hillary and being helping part of that. I love that. And then she trans she's transported to find um, that demon. But how do you feel like her trauma will affect her next season? And will it affect her throughout the whole season next season? I wish I knew. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I do know. I think that with anyone who's been through a, a severe trauma like that, you know, any victim of any any sort of any kind, um, of course it has repercussions. It will affect you. It's, it's not something that anybody can ever just get over. This is a part, you know, becomes a part of something that you deal with constantly. You know. um, uh, my mother was a victim. You know, these things are real and they happen. And even though it's it, it is a it's a demon or it's based on sort of this ethereal thing we still treated it as if it was an actual rape um, we got rain involved we got the highlights involved it's good to talk about these things um, I think like any person they Julia would like to continue to go on through life and, and fight her way through it because she's tough as nails and wants to, and, and her strength is immense but um, just like anyone you can't forget you know and you have to you have to sort of like allow those feelings and, and remorse it and talk about it and get through it and I think it's easy to sort of want to push them to the side and, and oh it's fine I'm fine but like sometimes you're not fine it's okay to not be fine yeah so I think I think it's very human in that will she get her revenge you'll have to watch the time now <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're quiet over there. <laughs> so quiet. For, okay. For, for Katie, like both of you guys have been yeah. kicked out of the school. Like, like you're not even enter, and you guys have yeah. dealt, had horrible relationships that you guys are trying to fix with with Kenny and with um, you made you made it right with um, with Quinton. But what are we gonna see from this coming relationship? Because you left the beat, is Quinton and your relationship okay? You're left Kenny, and Kenny hopes that. Alice, are your is your relationship gonna be okay? Like, what's gonna happen? That is a good question. <laughs> I don't even know the answer. <laughs> I would, well, yeah, go ahead. You go ahead. No, go. I was just gonna say I would like I would like to, and I, I when I read it, I didn't think of it as Julia was leaving everybody behind. You know, and, and I didn't think Katie was leaving. Julia said to Katie, "Go save yourself." Yeah. And then when Julia was with the rest of the crew, she essentially saved them or him, depending upon who's still alive, yeah. um, and went took the beast out of it. So it, I think in her mind it was like, okay, I can use the beast to get what I want and save Quentin. I don't think it was intentional, like, I'm, you know, screwing you guys over. I think it was just an out, means to an end. So I would like to think that Q is not mad at her, and after everything she endured, that he gets it. Yeah. They sort of have a profound understanding. They've been friends forever. Yeah. And to be honest, I don't know, sort of, we don't really know where, where the relationship goes as of yet. But I think, that, like any relationship, there's always ups and downs, and it's. I think that's what makes us human and what makes it normal. You so. and Penny? Yeah. 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 Yeah, and so I think um, I'm excited to see what happens with their relationship, really. I'm excited to see myself, <laughs> so we'll find out. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Katie is a badass. <laughs> I'm not. 
<laughs> no, she's, I mean, she's like, she's a tough girl and she's not afraid to say how she feels and um, punch a guy in the face if she feels like it. And not that I would do that, guys. <laughs> not saying that. But just like that sort of unabashed quality to like just be, be herself. I just, I love that about her. Um, and I think she could have a little bit more empathy for others. So. <laughs> a little bit. Julia, I think I love her strength. I admire her strength. I, I think I'd like to believe I have her strength. I would love to see her fall in love with herself. A bit. I would love to see Julia come into Julia the way that I'd like to think I came into Stella. But like, I would love to see her sort of, um, you know, get get through everything and and find. Find a, find a great group of friends or herself, you know, the self-love. Isn't that all of our journeys? Like, yeah. isn't it always the battle within and the self-love? Yeah. Right? That's like, that's our journey as humans. Yeah.